What's going on? Welcome to another vlog with your boy Chris from Day Traders Lifestyle TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make the million dollar routine. Let's get it, boy. So, the five things that I think that create the, or that I know create a million dollar routine. Um, number one is waking up early. I think the most important thing that someone can do is wake up, whether you have a nine to five job or you have your own business or you're a day trader or YouTuber, whatever the case is, I think the most important thing that anyone can do is be up early. And when I mean up early, somewhere in between like four and 5 a.m. Um, people don't realize that that small gap of time from four till seven or eight or five till seven or eight when usually everybody else is waking up you can get virtually like half of your stuff that you need to get done for the day if you have a nine to five you can go to the gym which is another one of the five things that's super important you can um, do laundry you can do your dishes you can read a book you can do so many different things so I think the number one most important thing that somebody can do is wake up early, get their day started early and on the right foot, and um, you'd be surprised how much you can get done in those extra hours, especially because there's a lot less distractions than doing something like that in the afternoon or the evening, the things that you can get done in the morning when you wake up those few hours earlier. So the first thing is waking up earlier. The second thing is the gym. I've spoken about it so many times before. I think the hardest thing to be disciplined with or one of the hardest things to be disciplined with is the gym because you can also go to the gym you can be disciplined with going to the gym every single day but not giving it a hundred percent right like you just you you do half the workout that you were supposed to do or it takes you two hours instead of 45 minutes because you're going so slow and you're not getting the same effect from that workout when it's taking you that long to do that right um definitely being disciplined setting a time that you get to the gym at, setting a time that you're supposed to leave at. Um, even a very lengthy workout shouldn't take you more than an hour and a half. An hour to an hour and a half. Um, the gym is definitely the second most important after waking up early. And if you can get the gym out of the way, I personally work out twice a day. So I go in the morning and I do cardio when I wake up. And then I go back in the afternoon once the market slows down and I get my weight session in. I do that on Mondays. Wednesdays, Fridays, um, Saturday and Sunday, I do cardio and then uh, weight session. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do, or sorry, Sunday, I just do like walking on the treadmill, I'll just very light. I don't like having a day off completely. My brain's just not okay with it. So I still like to go and do stretching or go sit in the sauna, go walk on the treadmill for 20 minutes, incline, do something active. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do cardio in the morning and then I'll do like uh, on the treadmill incline and then in the afternoon I'll do like basketball or something, something along the lines like that. So the second one is definitely in the gym. The third one is reading and as I'm saying this I'm looking at a book and I haven't dedicated time to read in the last probably two and a half weeks. So it's something that I personally even have to stick to. I used to be really good at reading. I used to be able to read a book a week. I was even at, at one point I was reading almost like a book and a half a week, but I just, I pushed it to the side and I started filling up my time and my schedule with other things and I haven't really taken the time to dedicate to reading. But now that I'm clearing out things that I usually occupy my time with, I'm rearranging my days and, and focusing my time more on myself um, instead of always trying to not always work, but we'll see how that goes. Um, definitely reading is super, super important. I've learned more from reading books than I have in school or anything else. Books are super, super important. It's the same as, uh, reading a good book is the same as putting good gas in your car. So in the long term, your car is going to run better, right? Like you might get away with, with putting cheap gas for a few years or a few months, but then your car is going to start running into issues, right? So if you're taking in shit knowledge all the time or you're you're only listening to trap music or you're wasting your time on youtube doing nonsense and you're not absorbing something positive and productive into your brain uh, your brain will be affected by that in the long term right um so reading is definitely the third one the fourth one is being organized and having a set schedule so whether you have a nine to five job whether you're an entrepreneur or a day trader an athlete whatever the case is i think having a set schedule 
and some days it's gonna go spot on some days it's gonna you're gonna be ahead of time or behind or you're gonna have to move stuff around so you have to also be fluid while having a set schedule and be able to go with the flow and move stuff around and just go as the day passes by but having a set schedule and not having to think about what you have to do in that day like I try to, I'm gonna be honest with you even on the weekends I do virtually the same thing I do throughout the week minus trading during the day because the markets obviously closed but I occupy my weekends are the same thing every weekend I do my laundry I do errands whatever the case is go to the bank appointments meetings whatever it is but I, every weekend usually looks the same and my weekdays look the same so that way I don't have to wake up and think about like oh what do I have to do today I have the certain days of the week have different meetings or appointments or errands for the most part overall um, my days consist of the same routine and the same schedule just so that I'm not wasting you only have so much brain energy in a day right so you shouldn't be wasting it on a um, what food you're gonna be eating the next day either prep your food at the start of the week or buy meal preps I buy meal preps I couldn't be bothered to cook my food I just don't I, I can't dedicate the time to do that nor is it something I really care to do um, pick out your clothes the night before so that way when you wake up in the morning you're not wasting your energy right when you wake up trying to stand there and pick out your, your outfit for whatever you're doing that day I wear if you guys noticed every time I'm in a vlog or anytime you see me anywhere even in the winter time I'm wearing shorts and a tank top and I just throw a coat on I throw a pair of socks and shoes on and I'm, I'm gone wherever I gotta go or just track pants and a t-shirt a white t-shirt that's it I always dress the same I have like 20 white t-shirts 20 tank tops like 10 jogging shorts five pairs of jogging pants and I just literally cycle through the same clothes every single week um, so so far we have waking up early we have going to the gym we have reading we have having a set schedule and the fifth one is meditation it's probably the most important but it takes the least amount of time so that's why i put it in the fifth spot um i meditate when i wake up i meditate after my first workout i meditate before i trade i meditate after my second workout i meditate before i work again in the afternoon and then i meditate before i go to bed and each of the sessions is 10 minutes i use an app called calm which i've spoken about obsessively on social media because i think it's absolutely amazing it's it's a guided meditation and not only that it's it keeps you accountable because it keeps track of the days that you meditate and it's cool because you build a streak up over time right so you'll be like on a 40 or 50 day streak and you'll be like oh shit like i can't miss even if you meditate once a day you're like i can't med i can't miss my 10 minute meditation today because i'm going to ruin my streak that i've been on right so it kind of keeps you going and keeps you pushing to to stay accountable and and keep that as part of your routine but i definitely recommend that everybody meditates there's one one thing that i don't like that people think about meditation is when you're meditating that you're not supposed to be thinking about anything which is the complete opposite of actually of what you're supposed to be doing when you're meditating when you're meditating your thoughts are, are coming and going but the whole point of meditation is to be able to just let it pass you know what i mean just like a moving car like you're not going to jump in front of a moving car and try and stop it so don't try and stop your thoughts when they come the whole point of meditating is to just sit there be with yourself be detached from everything around you um, maybe in the in that sauna where it's dark and it's hot and your body's going through extreme temperature changes um, that's really good for detoxing that's what i do after my workouts i go into the sauna and i meditate i have actually a lot of people from the sauna that I, or the the people that go to the gym and use the sauna a lot of them have been in there and they end up at the end of my meditation like they'll end up jumping in and doing it and then at the end they'll be like oh like what app was that how do you do that where can i download it blah 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 so it's cool because you end up influencing other people just random strangers to do it too right um which is it's cool and it's awesome but meditation is super super important it gives your brain even if it's a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is, one, two, three, four, five times a day, doesn't matter. It's all up to the person, whatever they, whatever works best for you as an individual, your schedule, your mindset, whatever helps you out the most. Some people may need to meditate 10 times a day and like it becomes kind of like a, like a drug. Like you're like, after you meditate, you're like, it's the best high that you can ever experience, better than any drug, better than 
being drunk, better than better, blah, blah, better than anything. And it's on demand. You can do it anywhere. You can do it with your headphones in, with your headphones out, in a loud room, in a quiet room, and a bright room, a dark room. It doesn't really matter. Meditation can be done anywhere, anytime, um, during anything. So I think it's a very, very important part to have in your routine. Um, and I definitely think that those are the top five most important things to be able to create a million dollar routine for yourself. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope it was informative to you and you can take something from it and apply it to your own life. I hope that it inspires you to get your shit together if your shit isn't together. Nobody has their shit together in reality. I don't. President Trump does. Nobody, nobody anywhere does. But it's just trying to have your shit together the best possible way you possibly can if that makes sense um keep pushing to be a better version of yourself every single day wake up be grateful every time that you wake up don't mope around don't uh, if you're unhappy that monday's coming around then you probably need to change what you're doing in your life because i love mondays the market's open i love every day whether it's monday friday saturday sunday it doesn't matter what day it is it's like every day is a blessing so always be grateful for it Always be happy and radiate positive energy um, to yourself and those around you because it becomes infectious and then those people will end up radiating it back to you and it's just, it's like a ripple effect so it's pretty awesome. Regardless, I hope this helps you. I hope it was informative. If you know somebody that is slacking off and somebody that needs to maybe hear this, like it, share it, subscribe, send it to them. I will see you on the next vlog. Like always, take care. Brush your teeth, come here. Cha-cha, all right?